Shalom. Today is Sunday. I would like to congratulate you all in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ and welcome you on this platform of sharing the word of the Lord. Before we proceed, let us pray. Heavenly Father, creator of all nations, we come before your presence and we thank you, Lord, for the privilege you have given us once again to be in your presence, to hear the word which is spirit and the word which is life, the incorruptible which you, have, which you chose to give us birth through. We therefore, Father, submit our souls and our lives to the understanding of your word as we share this word, Father, we seek understanding. We seek to receive the incorruptible that is in your word. We pray for our hearts to be opened and our minds to be alert. In Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, I say shalom. May the Lord richly bless you. Today, we are also going to look at the part two of called to function in faith. The previous, which is part one, we looked at the environment of faith. We saw that we are the product of faith. And we have been called into holiness of God to function in faith. So today we are going to look at part two, which looks at the mindset of functioning in faith. Part one, we, look, we listened last, last Sunday we established that we are justified by the faith of Jesus Christ. And it, has, it is our faith in the faith of Jesus Christ that we are accredited righteous. But our salvation is based on the faith of Jesus Christ. So today, we are going to look at the mindset for functioning in faith. Since we are justified by the faith of Jesus Christ, our mindset should be of Jesus Christ. Let us look into that. It's very interesting. Let us open our Bibles from the book of Romans. Let us read Romans chapter 12, <clears throat> verse 2. It says, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. I've been reading from the New Living Translation. Let us read from the book of Rome, the same Romans chapter 12 from New King James Version. It says, verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good 
and acceptable and perfect will of God. Our environment of faith is it demanding us to be transformed in our, in our, in our way of thinking. That we, if we are transformed, then we will be able to know the will of God. Let us again look at 1 Corinthians. Chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 16. It says, For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to teach him? But we understand these things, for we have the mind of Christ. Paul here is saying, Now we understand these things. Because we have the mind of Christ now. Before then, we didn't understand it. Because we didn't have the mind of Christ. But today, we understand these things. Because we have the mind of Christ. When you read above, from, chap from verse 10, it shows that now the things which our eyes had not, not seen, our ears had not heard, is now being revealed by the Spirit of God. And now is being revealed by the Spirit of God because we have the mind of God now to understand the will of God. This is why the Spirit is now revealing these things to us. Which means the will of God can only be understood by an, an, an trans, a transformed mind. If your mind has been transformed by the Spirit of God, then you'll understand the will of God, which is perfect and acceptable. From Romans chapter 12. Right? Let us read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23. Let us read verse 23 and 24. It says, Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. This is the mindset which works in the environment of faith. It is a renewed mind that has been renewed by the Holy Spirit. As we, read, we are reading here from verse 23, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 23. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. So in this mindset, it's not the old person who, has to ha who will have this mindset, who will work the works of faith. It is the new man created in Christ Jesus who is picking the image of Jesus, the image of God, which is the image of Jesus, created in righteousness and holiness. Do you remember Jesus Christ once taught uh, the people who were then, he said, we don't put the new wine into old bags. Instead, we put the new wine into new bags. In case the new wine will burst the old bags. This is what he was referring to. The mindset of Christ has to be put into a new man who is you, who has believed in Jesus Christ. 
Because when we read 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17, it says, If one is in Christ, he is a new creation. He is a new creature. The old things have passed away. Now he is new. It means now that person is the new you who is in Christ Jesus, who is to put on the mind of Christ. That's why Paul says, now we now understand the will of God because now the Holy Spirit is revealing unto us the will of God because now we hold the mind of Christ. We carry the mind of Christ. It is the mind of Christ that enables us to function in faith. It is not our it is not human mind. No. It is the mind of Christ. Because another point Jesus Christ says when he when he was when he, when he was revealing these things. He says, "Now we have to put on the new man. This was, this was Paul. We have to put on the new man in, in, in Ephesians chapter 24. Put, put on Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24. Put on the new man created in Christ Jesus. Right? And it is this Christ, this new man, who is to have the mind of Christ. And Romans is telling us we have to be transformed in our mind, other versions they say, in the spirit of our mind, we have to be transformed. The way we think has to be transformed for us to work in the environment of faith. Because Paul says, now this new way of life, which is of faith, which is being revealed by the Spirit of God is a new way of faith. Hence, our minds have been, to, has to be, our mind has to be transformed because it's a new way of life, which is not of this world. This world has got its own way of thinking through senses, the five senses we have. But this extra sense, which we get when we become a new man, which is faith. It's a sense, spiritual sense. Because through faith we access what God is revealing by his spirit. We need to be transformed in our mind, the way we think. And this is the mindset we must have in the new man so that we can function successfully in the environment of faith. Let us open our Bibles again from the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter 2. It says from verse 5. It says, you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had in order to function in the environment of faith. We have to have the same attitude that was in Christ Jesus. Otherwise, if we read, we are to read from New, from New King's James Version, we'll see that that attitude is, is translated as mind. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5, New King James Version or New or King James Version. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind, the mindset that was in Christ Jesus, be in us so that we can function successfully in this environment of faith. It requires a new set of mind, a new way of thinking. Hence, the book of Romans and Apostle Paul is encouraging us to be transformed 
in our minds so that we can understand the acceptable will of God which the Holy Spirit is now revealing to us. I want you to understand this. When Christ came into the world, his coming into humanity is an event that opens a door to many things in the life of humanity. Christ came to demonstrate to us how our Father wants us to live and to think. Christ was among us to teach us, to impart into us the way of thinking. Do we remember that Christ, when that woman we had an issue of blood, was healed. Christ pointed to the woman and says, No, your faith, woman, has healed you. When you look at you will see, you will see that Jesus was pointing to us, indicating that we have to think otherwise by observing the word of God. This word of God, the letter, it is the spiritual. When we listen to this word, we are receiving the incorruptible from the Lord. When we read it, will receive what it says. May the Lord reach bless you in Jesus' name. When you just see this word, it's not just a word. This word of God is the living word of God. It is God himself in existence. Behind this word of God, there is a spirit. There is a life of the word. There is the spirit of the word. When we are discussing the word of God, we are getting the spirit of God of the word of God, the reality of this word we read. Therefore, when we are empowered to function in faith, we have to take it seriously to function in faith. Requires, there is a prerequisite of purity and humility of mind. He humbled himself, Jesus Christ, even though he was God. Last time we established that holiness is a function of the fruits of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, compassion, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control and obedience. If we are to function in faith, we have to be a product of those things and have the mind of Christ in us. At one point, Jesus showed us the way to live. He says, when he healed Bartimaeus, he said, Bartimaeus, your faith has healed you. In other incidents, Jesus says, My son, 
your sins are forgiven you are free go which means he was showing us a mindset that if we forgive other, each other's sins it's a way we will be effective in working in faith when we use when we believe in Christ it's a way which is effective in working in faith because last Sunday we established that we believe in Christ Jesus hence we are saved and our belief in Christ Jesus we are depending on the faith of Jesus Christ and we are saved which means faith is a hand which enables us to access what Christ has done for us. So, a mindset of Christ has to be in us as a prerequisite for functioning in faith. We should be forgivers obedient be humble and also holy in our way of living this is how we put the mind of Christ in us our spirit has to carry the mind of Christ we have our mind as a soul mind the soul has got a mind and your spirit has got a mind this transformation it takes place in the human spirit inside it is that spirit of yours that is able to carry spiritual things it is that spirit of ours that receives the mind transformation. When that spirit of our mind is transformed, we are thinking like Christ. We are acting like Christ as we are Christians. Then our senses, the mind of our senses, is now subjected to the mind of our spirit, which is also subjected to the mind of Christ. which is the mind of Christ is the one that works on the will of God because his faith in God gave us ability to have faith in him so the mind of Christ that was working here on earth for us that mind of Christ which Corinthians says we have it gave us access to have to have to have the mind of Christ in us so that we work on the mind of Christ for the faith to work faith works when we base our mind on the mind of Christ Jesus says I didn't come to do my will but my father's will and he says again I can't do anything outside my father he totally dependent on God the father that is obedience and his attitude towards his father is the attitude we are required to have towards him Jesus Christ because without him we can't do anything human effort amounts to yes nothing but it is Christ who does things in us 
a mindset for functioning in faith is the mindset is the mind of Christ in us a mindset for functioning in faith is having the mind of Christ in us which the book of Philippians is saying the word of God that we should have this mind which was in Christ Jesus Whenever and wherever he healed people, he showed the way he has done it. He said, your faith. So he was imparting into us that it is the faith in him that will make things happen. The way we should think is to depend on Christ Jesus. As he depended, depended on his father. He spoke to a fig tree and he cursed the fig tree and it dried. And his, he told his disciples, he says, have faith in God. He was imparting his mindset of functioning in faith. He was showing a formula of doing the things of God. He says, have faith in God. So to do the will of God, doing the will of God, which he is revealing by his spirit, requires the mind of Christ. Humility, forgiveness, honesty, transparency, joy, peace, love, goodness, faithfulness, yes, and self-control. Above all, obedience to the will. This is the mindset. We can have it because Christ has already impacted on us. Do you know when he cursed the tree? If, you re if we read carefully in the King James Version, it says, Jesus answered. It means he was talking. He was conversing with that fig tree. Our faith has to address the situation. Not to go back again and say, God, give me faith. God, come and, 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 and cast this fig tree for me. No. We do it by faith. We address the situation. Speak the word of God into the situation. In your heart, believing that Jesus is working the answer. This is what he, he, he indicated on Mark 11, verse 23-24, cursing the tree, the fig tree. He says, later on he went on explaining, he says, If you believe, if you pray for anything, he says anything, he says anything, yes, everything, believing, and it will happen. When you believe, you have possessed, and it will be yours. That is functioning in faith. But we have to have the mindset of Christ, which made him to function in faith that way. Yes, it is possible, because Christ gave us the ability. Yes, it's not for anyone, it's for you. Function in faith. We are also waiting for you to function in faith. Yes, you can. God has given you the ability. 
just to suppress the mindset of your senses, of the flesh, and operate with the mindset of your spirit, which has been renewed in its thinking by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, this is why the Bible says, work out your salvation. It means subject every time the requirements or the way of thinking of the, of, the, of the flesh, the carnal way of thinking, and put ahead or subject that to the way of thinking of the spirit, which is the real you. And the way of the spirit depends entirely and totally on Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I don't do anything outside my Father. What I do, I have seen my Father doing. And Jesus Christ says, I am sending you the Holy Spirit who will teach you, who will lead you and guide you and, re and, and make you remember these words. We are privileged to have the mindset of Christ. It is that mindset that works with the Holy Spirit. It is this mindset that works on the will of God. It is this mindset, which is the mind of Christ, that enables us to understand the will of the Father. Shalom. I say shalom. Go and function in the faith by the mind of Christ. Pray. To God to give you the mind of Christ, the spirit of the mind of Christ. Pray for the spirit of the mind of Christ to be given to you. And that mind is the mind that works everything. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, stay blessed. I say shalom. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we glorify your name and we thank you for the time you have given us to share the incorruptible about your mind. We pray that you give us the spirit of the mind of Christ in us, for it is our portion. Father, we thank you and we glory in your presence for your word. Let it dwell in our hearts and in our minds. Father, we thank you. We bless your children, Father, and bless everyone at work at school. Everyone be blessed and receive the mind of Christ, which is full of knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Let it be yours. And I pray for those that are not feeling well, be healed by the mind of Christ. Let it reach you in Jesus' name. Have a blessed week. Shalom. God bless you.